What's going on, YouTube? See this Werner truck? There's a truck on the other side of him. Can you see that? This guy in a Werner truck, he's up front watching his stuff. <laughs> I'm glad he did. You see, he's talking to the other guy beside him there, right? Let me show you how much room we got, first off. Huge parking lot. When you come in, guard tells you to slide, pull right there at the bullpen, slide your tandems, open your doors. Walk over here. We all waited an hour before the guy come back from lunch. So your doors are supposed to be open. Tandem slid over there before we even get assigned a door. All right. This guy, which and I'm going to talk about it here in a second, in that blue truck across from Werner, literally back straight up into this guy. Square on it. It's like he didn't even see it. All right. This Werner guy was paying attention and laid on the air horn and the guy stopped. This guy is an African American. He does not speak English very well. He was inside with us for an hour. Very nice guy. After lining up and hitting the hole about 15 different times, his doors wasn't open, his tandems wasn't slid. So I walked out. He stopped. And I was like, hey man, you gotta open your doors and slide your tandems because you can't do that when you're in the hole. You're in between two trailers. <laughs> he said, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he pulled up about halfway said his brakes got out I was like you still can't open your doors man you're in between pull up got my gloves I showed him how far to pull up said his brakes he got out and he's like um I don't know how to do that how do I how do, how do I slide tandems he called it something else and I told him no those are your tandems I, I wasn't mean a, a, a butthole I was, I was gonna show the guy because he wasn't taught and he was very humble with it and he was upfront and honest that he didn't know how to do it and he don't have a trainer with him trucks tore all the heck you know he's <laughs> tore the bumper off everything else anyway <laughs> so I get him come back there the little round knob you pull to release your pins to move your tandems I told him to pull it the little drain tube behind it he grabbed that and started waiting. I was like no no not that <laughs> the knob it wouldn't do it I tried it maybe it's froze up it's cold I was like, let's go see if you set your brakes. Walked up there, he got in his truck, filthy. Dash tore apart, junk everywhere. I was like, set your trailer brakes. He pushed in his tractor brakes. I was like, oh my God, started moving. <laughs> so he, he locked it real quick, and I was like, lock your trailer, the red. He pulled it out. He didn't have it locked before. I told him, anytime you stop anywhere, set both of them, always. Always set your trailer and truck brakes. That's why you have them. <laughs> He did. We come back. He pulled the pin, and uh, I showed him how to back, you know, back up to release it, let the pins in, and then pull forward. And um, man, he was just a yanking on it, you know. And he tried putting it in gear with his foot on the brake with no clutch. He was, Grrr! I was like, man, you gotta hit the clutch to put it in gear. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was nervous. I was trying to show him how to do something, <laughs> but still, how is he driving a truck? And he's like, I'm sorry, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Uh, he said, I, I started driving for Swifty. He, he called it Swifty, swear to God. <laughs> he said, I started driving for Swifty. Uh, I've not drove in a while. You know, I was like, how long have you been driving now? And he's like, a year. This guy's been driving a year and don't know how to push the clutch in when putting it in gear. He don't know how to release some slightest tandems. And he didn't even open his door before backing in the dock. Wow. But, um, and he was straight in the hole. All right? Just to show you all, there's literally two lines. Right, one for each trailer. Same on the other side, one for each trailer. You, you can see that, right? That guy's perfect. The other trailer on the other side, perfect. He's like, that guy too far over, that's why I almost hit him. I was like, dude, half of your trailer was on half of his truck. That's how far over he was, you know? No, and I was like, look, he's perfectly in the lines. That was perfectly in the lines. You almost hit that guy square on. And um, here he is. See if you, you see him walking out there, that black gentleman? Um, his truck over there. That other guy's backing me in. No, he didn't. Here he comes, he's walking around. There he is. I bet he's coming to talk to me. He asked for my name and whatnot. Let's see. There he is, this guy right here. Very nice guy, humble, nervous. 
he was honest. He didn't know how to do it. <laughs> um, I'm going to get out and show you all his truck. I've never seen nothing like that in my life. I mean, this old baby's in a pretty rough shape. He drives for uh, Expressway Logistics, LLC. License plate number. I mean, it's in a uh, rough shape. If, uh, if old Werner guy right here wouldn't have been watching, he would have got hit for sure. Ain't no doubt about it. Floor's all wet, but uh, I've heard these stories, never personally seen it, can't believe it. This guy didn't know how to push in his clutch when trying to put it in gear, just ramming it backwards and forwards. Don't know how to ease the clutch, never taught how to slide these tandems, and almost square straight back into another guy. This is what causes accidents on the road. Nobody training these people the proper way. Letting them get their license at a place where they probably paid off the people just to get their license and put them in a truck by themselves with no training. Unbelievable. That's unacceptable in this industry. 80,000 pound machine rolling down the road that don't stop on a dime, especially with nobody or with somebody that don't understand how to operate the machine in the first place on ice and snow. Imagine what he's going to do. I'm not the type to go by the rule book or, you know, the log book or whatever else you want to call it, but that is unacceptable. The guy, it's not his fault that he wasn't trained. But it is his fault not to tell people, I don't know how to do this and I don't feel comfortable. Going out and doing this over the road and not knowing how to even slide your tandems or pushing your clutch or ease the clutch, unacceptable. That's what's going to get somebody killed. You've seen it here first, people. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We was talking on the CB about it. Got me a new mic, by the way. I got to get me a gear keeper to hang it up. It was in that Henderson truck. Got me a good mic. Radio's working good again. All right, if you got a Volvo and your radio ain't working, check this. All right, I knew it was in the coax, but and you got an antenna on. Ah, right, come on, baby. You got an antenna on each mirror. You see that right there? There's a connection, a coax connection. It goes through the bar up through here, right? That connection was completely apart and you can't get to it. I worked them together right there. I took a wooden tip, uh, uh, a wooden drill bit, a big long wooden drill bit. I got, it's got a point on it to start the hole. And I got it down in there. I matched them up. I, I could spin it just a tiny bit at a time, the top one. And I got it locked down on there. Now my radio works perfect. Like I used to. I talked to a guy, I think yesterday, the day before, he's like, he said he was 13 miles from mile markers. But he was like 13 miles. Radio's working good again. Seen some of the craziest crap I've ever seen in my life. I've ran 4,000, I think, 70 miles in two weeks. Freight's horrible. <laughs> Part of it, you know. Part of it. But uh, hopefully it's going to pick up. Wife just started her job. Third or fourth, fourth day today. The kids are going back to daycare. Man, I tell you coming around uh, I got another story to tell y'all um, Mac he's in here I told him he's the only person I've told so far I've not talked to any other of my trucker friends yet but um you talk about God speaking to you right like Adam and Eve and God speaking to him how he don't do that no more he still does and he did to me I got to share that story on another video other than this people this former Swift driver said he's been driving for a year now after a break and starting at Swift don't know how to slide his tandems, don't know how to engage a clutch, don't know how to set his brakes properly, don't know how to back up, literally don't know nothing. And he's out here over the road truck driving by himself without a trainer. It's not his fault that he don't know it, but it is his fault not to tell the people that's his bosses that he's not comfortable. He knows he ain't comfortable. He knows he don't know how to operate it, and he should be speaking up and saying, hey, I need help, or I'm going to get somebody killed. It's crazy. Unbelievable. People, you
You only die once. We live every day here. Make the most of it. Do whatever it is in this world that you want to do, but get the proper training. <laughs> Take it easy.